It means that we can build an exam diet for hires and advanced hires that is as safe as it possibly can be using all the coronavirus mitigations we have sadly become so familiar with, including physical distancing and enhanced cleaning. That means that the exams determining the results that most pupils leave schools, schools with, the exams that determine most people's future path into work, college or university can go ahead as long as the public health guidance allows it. It also means that we can use the time in the school year freed up by cancelling the National 5 exams to make up some of the time pupils have lost at the end of last year. As a result, I can confirm that the higher and advanced higher exams will begin on the 13th of May, later than normal, and giving pupils back approximately two weeks of the learning time that they lost this year. Certification day will remain as the 10th of August. This additional time, in, conjun in conjunction with the course assessment modifications that the SQA have made following its consultation, give the greatest chances of these exams being implemented fairly. Presiding officer, while I'm taking steps that make space for higher and advanced higher exams this next year, I'm acutely aware that there is no way of knowing what circumstances we will face at that point. To avoid decisions being made in extremis, as quite simply had to be the case this year, a clear contingency plan will continue to be developed for those exams. This will include key checkpoints up to the February break to assess public health advice and, in the light of that, of our plans. If necessary, we will award higher and advanced higher courses based on teacher professional judgment, supported by SQA quality assurance, taking account of classroom ass assessment evidence, including pre prelims, where appropriate. Presiding officer, in deciding the way forward for this year's exams, there is a reality that we must face. Coronavirus has not gone away. If anything, it is making a, co a comeback. Our task is to build a system of awards that can be delivered despite coronavirus, and I believe the plan that we have developed does that. It has evidence at its heart, it puts a robust system of quality assurance in place, and it works with teachers to award on the basis of their professional judgement. I believe it is fair, I believe it is rigorous, and of greatest importance, it gives us the opportunity to recognise the achievements of young people in Scotland in these challenging days. Thank you very much. The Cabinet Secretary will now take questions on the issues raised in his statement. I intend to allow around 20 minutes for questions, after which we will move on to the next item of business. It would be helpful. So we've been.